Right, uh, hello and welcome back uh, to this series looking at this build of the 16mm Hudson Hunslet. And um, we seem to have almost a loco. Um, it's clearly not finished yet, um, but the metal part is now kind of resting in place. Um, this whole thing is still just rested together, it's not glued, hence I'm being fairly careful about how I move it around. Um, but hopefully you can see that the metal piece is, is cut to size, um, is, is it in place? Um, it's just resting on, but you can see that on the top surface where it curls over, it's fitting nicely against the other printed parts. Um, the fit on the other side isn't quite so great at the bottom, uh, down here, but that's just because it's still slightly sprung. Um, if I push it down um, as I would when gluing it in place, uh, then it fit it fits really nicely. Um, so I'm really really happy with that. It's um, it, it's proved the the 3D printed. Uh, molds quite nicely um, <clears throat> so yeah so there's there's there are still some issues um, I've spotted a bit of a problem so um, you may remember that um, when I cut when I when I did this the first time it was way too small because I'd used a, um, a template that I'd cut here we go um, that I'd scaled up from the four millimeter version um, and I said there was something odd about it. It wasn't. It wasn't quite long enough, even though I'd corrected for the problems of uh, that I'd had with um, the same issue for the sizes for these door panels. Um, and I'm still not quite sure what's wrong with this. But not only is it not long enough, I've now discovered it's also not wide enough. Because what you may be able to see is I've printed out the remains of the control panel. Uh, I'll take it apart, and you can you can see this a little better. Uh, but if I lift off the metal piece. You can see I've now got this piece on the end here as well. In fact, I'll I'll take the whole thing apart, <clears throat> and you can we can look at the piece properly. Um, so previously, I've just been kind of fitting the metal part to this front piece here, uh, but what I've done is I've glued on the other piece. Um, this is printed in two parts, basically, so I can print from from this surface this way as one part, and then from this surface that way as another part. Um, it gives me the better orientation for both sides. Uh, but also cuts the the print time down because otherwise it it would uh, it would take quite a while. So they're just glued together. Um, I might alter these so that they've got some kind of registration points so that they slot together a bit better. Um, but even gluing them together is fine. Um, but <clears throat> this distance here, if you look at it, is longer than the metal part. It's not by much, but you've got to remember. So this metal part fits against the edge of that square bit. So. You can see here there's a couple of millimetres maybe that it's short um, which probably explains if it's you know I've said this template is is too short um, you can say it's it's definitely when I put it in place it's too short this way and when you wrap it over the top it's it's too short at the bottom there um, but it's also I've discovered too narrow but I use the width of this to to, to set it um, the so I, I'm in two minds about this. One, um, I could just move this surface back a bit, um, which would which would work. Um, but I'm not I'm not convinced by by that because um, you can also see this didn't print properly. It didn't stick for some reason. It's curved. I'll have to look at that. Um, so when you put this on here, you can see that it's quite it's quite close up to the footwell and on the real thing it seems to line up with pretty much with this which this this does um, so the problem then when you put this on it's very very close to the driver figure and in fact in the four millimeter version I had problems getting a driver figure in the seat because he was so close to this metal now in this version it doesn't look too bad remember this is going to be curved here um, like the like this part here, so it's gonna it's gonna kind of curve like that. So there should be there should be clearance, even if it's a couple of millimeters longer. Um, so yeah, I mean on the four millimeter one, I would have um, I would have liked some more space on this. There probably is the space. Um, so I think while I could make this shorter, it would make this control panel area um, under here this bit. A slightly different shape and I don't think it would look right if you looked at it so I think what I'm gonna have to do is make the metal piece wider and that's a pain for a number of reasons firstly um, 
it had turned out that these side panels and this sheet were the same width so what I've been doing was cutting long strips off a sheet of aluminium of the 35 millimeter width uh, cutting and then I can cut the doors off and then fold the other half um, but it means I'm gonna to have to cut 35 millimeter strips and I think 37 38 millimeter strips um, probably 38 for this part <clears throat> um, which is a bit of a pain because I was wondering depending on interest of actually seeing if I could get if I could order the aluminium sheet and get them to pre-cut it for me the 35 millimeter but obviously I can't do that if I need a mix of a mix of sizes so I think I'll have to keep on cutting it by hand um, but I think I want to it, as I say it's a lot more work but also because of course I've got this um, this one mold tool um, which has the the guides for setting it um, which are 35 millimeters wide so I'm gonna have to reprint this as well uh, and in fact I'm gonna have to think I think I'm gonna have to reprint both of these molds um, now you remember this was the this was the first one I did uh, where I said that it was putting it was starting the curves on the top it was starting these bits too far in um, so that it wouldn't the, the, the plastic part wouldn't fit properly once it had printed um, and that was true so I, I made another one that was ever so slightly where the, the form was ever so slightly wide I think it's by like half a millimeter um, and that did seem to work but it didn't give quite such a good tight corner off as flat a top um, as the previous one and when I was looking at it after I'd filmed yesterday's uh, the previous part yesterday um, I realized that having started the initial form and got the curves in the right place I can now put this piece back in the original former um, and push it with the original form tool as well and that actually gives me a much much nicer fit so if I look at this now against this against this part um, you'll see what I mean so before it was pretty good but I had to kind of force it with my fingers I'm providing almost no force at all now I'm just literally look kind of just it, it almost holds itself in place uh, and as soon as I provide any force at all I get it to fit pretty damn perfectly um, so yeah so that works really well starting it with one former and then finishing it with the, the original one works really really well um, but that does mean that I'm now going to have to reprint both of these because I'm going to need to move these guides out <clears throat> and also um, <clears throat> this I think I think this part is possibly wide enough because I obviously want a little bit of metal either side so that the former is wider than the metal so that the edges are definitely within side the forming tool they're not butt up against it um, so it maybe I can keep the size of all the tools the same I just need to literally move these these guide posts but it does mean that um, I, I mean I, I could file them back but I think to do it and keep it accurate and level and straight would be a pain so I think I'm going to tweak both of these um, unfortunately I kept the the file for this one before I edited it so I should be able to go back and um, and, and recreate both of these um, with the move with the, the posts moved. Um, but yeah, I'm really really happy with that. So um, I need to figure out what's wrong with my artwork because if I have the artwork right, um, it'll help. So these these dots on the top are for drilling holes for um, vents and other parts that go on the top of the model. Um, but it would also help with cutting this this this. Um, this curved edge if I can get this this right what I'd like to do is to be able to kind of um, possibly use this for marking the, the score lines um, but also obviously um, when you know when people when I'm building models or people or other people are building them up to be able to kind of glue it on with a bit of print stick uh, use it as the, the guide for cutting the holes um, drilling the holes and cutting cutting these sides uh, and that only works obviously if it's the right the right size um, so I'll go back and figure out what's wrong with this and um, and redo that but I think yeah so um, so yeah that's really good so there's there's progress there but I've also spotted one other thing while while looking at this so I had this assembled in front of me for quite a while um, <clears throat> and I went to check exactly what I wanted to check was if I put this on here when I spotted it was the wrong size that the, the metal on the part didn't line up I went to check exactly where this um, aligns with the side of the chassis on the prototype and um, I realized that 
I made a mistake even right back on the original um, four millimeter version. So the chassis sides have these four pieces um, that I did kind of um, symmetrically. Uh, now the front and the back of the local obviously have slightly different profiles of the chassis. Um, but looking at the photos, it would appear that on the real thing, this piece here doesn't doesn't go back in again. Here, it's it this 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 shooting piece actually continues all the way to the back. So so this bit here um, is thicker all the way to the back, and I I just never noticed. I don't know quite how. I didn't notice when I was doing the four millimeter version. I mean, on the four millimeter tiny version, it's less obvious. On this, once you can see it, um, it's a bit difficult to unsee. So. I think um, I'm going to go back in, and I don't need to necessarily mod modify this part. I can just I can literally just fill this in with a with a new piece um, in the 3D model. So when it prints out, it's thicker, so I don't have to actually go altering altering anything. But it's um, yeah, it, it probably keeps teaching me not to revisit models I've done in one scale and try and just um, scaling them up because I keep seeing odd things. So this is the second thing now I've spotted that doesn't quite work. Obviously, the the other one was the fact that this piece isn't the same width as this one. So these metal side panels, um, when they rest on the front one, don't properly rest on this on this back one. So I still need to fix this part. Um, although um, when you've got the when you've got these two parts in place and the magnet holding the door panel on, it actually holds this side panel um, in the correct position away from the side. Uh, and when you've got the metal, once you've got the metal piece on that gap is is completely invisible you can only notice it because you can you can um, oops all collapsing on me you can push in on the side panel um, and it will actually kind of indent further than it should um, but that's the only the only reason you can tell um, so I might be able to get away with that um, although I might go back and tweak it we'll see um, see how I feel on that one um, but yeah so um, really happy with the metal folding uh, just now need to make it the right the right size and make that light make that easier to um, to size up um, but yeah I think the next the next tricky thing I'm gonna have to have a look at is this is this front mesh um, I have some um, I have some mesh of the right type this is a, a an off cut that's got glue on it and things but um, I think it's probably about the right uh, the right size holes wise and wire wise I think it's not too bad um, I would have liked this to be made of um, steel rather than this brass uh, wire because otherwise I'm gonna to have to paint this and any scratches the brass would show through whereas if it's steel I can just I can just weather it um, and it would be pretty accurate for the front um, so yeah I'm still in two minds about exactly what I'm doing about that um, and what I'm doing about the edge um, on the real thing I think it's wrapped around um, a kind of wire form around the edge um, but there's not really enough thickness here to do that it would stand too proud so I think I'm probably just going to cut it to the to the right shape um, and not worry about that um, too much. Also, because if I try and bend this round a wire, I mean this is it, it's flexible, but trying to bend it around a tiny wire and, and it's just going to be it's going to be a bit of a disaster, I think. So I think yeah, but we'll we'll see. I'll, I'll cut some up and see what see what I get. Um, so that'll be a, another video at some point soon.